If you somehow believe that swearing is equal to fat loss, then keep watching this video. We all sweat to some extent while working out or during some stressful activity, for example, solving a tough question paper. But what exactly is sweat? Sweating is your body's natural reaction to rising temperatures. Sweat consists of mainly water and electrolytes that are sodium chloride or salt, potassium, calcium, etc. When your sweat evaporates, it also takes the latent heat with itself. This makes you feel cool and helps regulate your body temperature. Nowhere in sweat are there any fats, lipids or oils. It's just water and electrolytes. Which in conclusion means that sweating does not burn fat. Repeat after me. Sweating does not burn fat. Good. However, sweat does contain water and water has some weight. After an intense workout or an hour of standing under the sun, let's say you excrete a liter of water through sweating. After that, you stand on the scale and see that you have lost 2 pounds and you are very happy but thirsty so you drink a liter of water and go back to check your weight. You are surprised to see that you are back to normal. This is because the weight you lost was just water and not fat. Sweating does cause weight loss but it's temporary. For permanent fat loss you will have to watch my videos. Link in the description and I button. If you are a fighter and you are competing in a certain weight category, in that scenario dehydrating yourself is a good way to lose weight. If you are planning to buy any special equipment that will cause you to sweat more and somehow burn fat, then just eliminate that idea out of your brain. That is a scam. Invest your money in a trainer who will provide you with a proper workout and nutrition plan that will cause fat loss. Someone like me. The amount of sweat excreted differs from person to person. It depends mostly on the number of sweat glands you have. It can range anywhere between 2 million to 5 million. It also depends upon the external temperatures. If you are working out in Iceland, then you may not sweat at all. But you may sweat in a desert without doing anything. Even if the scenario is same. Some people may sweat a lot while others may not sweat at all. Just because you are sweating a ton during a workout, it neither means you are working out harder nor does it indicate the effectiveness of that workout. You should track your progress in terms of the reps you are doing or if you see any physical changes. If you went from doing 20 squats to 22 squats, then you made progress. But if you are sweating a ton but the number of reps or weight didn't increase the next training day, then you didn't make any progress. You just lost a lot of water. That's why stop looking at sweat as a sign of effectiveness or progress. Instead, check if you are getting better at performing the exercise. See if you are getting thinner. It will take time. Don't keep checking yourself in the mirror daily. Give yourself a month to see any noticeable changes. Stop wearing thick clothes during workouts. You will feel uncomfortable. That's it. If you get any results, it's due to the workouts and not from sweating. If sweating was so important for progress, then there wouldn't have been any air conditioners inside the gym. All the people living in snowy areas would have been obese. Think about it. Which topic do you want to be covered next? Comment below. If you made it till here, then hit that like button, share it with your workout buddies, subscribe and hit that bell icon.
Thank you.